uh, we'll be starting today with our first uh, tutorial of python so normally there is very uh, some people might feel some curiosity why should i learn a new language and what is the benefit of python that i'm not uh, that i cannot get in any other language so i'll be starting with a brief introduction about that and uh, try to encourage people why they should use python so what is python basically so python is an object oriented interpreted language and it's very easy to use first of all what is object oriented object oriented means everything in python is based off an object it's like a real world entity so you can correlate to okay and then it is an interpreted language interpreted language means you don't have to worry about any compiler to compile your code your code will be interpreted by the uh, machine uh, line by line that's the re reason that you can run your python uh, programs on any operating system okay so it's platform independent you can write your code in windows and you can run it in mac os or linux so this is what makes python very popular coming up next uh, python also supports basic data types such as numbers and strings as well as more complex types like list and dictionaries and uh, these data structures can really simplify your data processing uh, when this uh, data science and big data came into boom python also boomed along with them data in python is strongly typed strongly typed means if you want to add a number to a string you are going to get an error but it is also dynamically typed that means you do not have to worry about the data type of the variable while declaring it okay python is smart enough to understand which data type have you declared and uh, what are you going to associate with that variable so it's very simple to use like in uh, other programming languages if you see c++ or uh, java or any other language you have to uh, define a variable like in, whether you are de declaring a int or a, it is a string float but python is very easy to use it's a very human readable language kind of thing that you can relate to and despite its ease of use it's very powerful also as an example you can take it was one of the three official languages at google okay moving on to some of the important terms in uh, python that uh, we'll be using so first is literal what is a literal literal is a any value of any type okay it may be a string it may be a float it may be a int any value of any type is called a literal okay then we have a function function is a named block of code that we can call by using its name don't worry about these things if it doesn't make sense right now we'll see all of these things in detail in future but for now just try to understand uh, the basic terminologies so that you don't get confused whenever we discuss about these things in future okay so python also has many inbuilt functions that we can use and also we can write our own functions based on the requirements then we have argument all functions in a python return a value and the value that is passed to a function in order to give it values to work with that value is called as argument so uh, it is not necessarily required to provide a argument to a function it can be no argument function also but sometimes it's needed uh, and uh, whenever we provide any value while calling a function it is called an argument then what does calling a function mean calling the function uh, using the function name to execute the function's code so whenever you want to uh, you have defined a uh, function and you want to use the function anywhere in your program you just need to use the name of the function to call it okay and what is the return value any value that uh, the function returns and the output of that function is called your return value and then we have parameter so parameter is the arguments that the function has received so it's also called uh, formal parameters 
so <laughs> these things will uh, again see in the future in detail but for now just uh, remember the terminologies okay so i'll quickly switch to uh, google collab to show few things as i told python is a very user friendly language and anyone uh, who has uh, english knowledge can easily adapt to the python uh, style okay because it's very simple normally if you see in uh, languages like java if you have to print something you start by writing system dot out dot print ln and then you write whatever you want to print okay in c++ you have c out and uh, double uh, uh, arrow marks and then you print it but python is so simple that if you know english you can do it so in python if you want to print something you just have to write a print and then whatever you want to print okay so this is your very simple python program this will be your first python program the hello world and uh, you can uh, as you see you just have to write print and you can print whatever you want so it's very simple and you don't have to remember complicated syntax and uh, functions to print something okay is very simple now uh, it's very simple as you see but uh, also you have to know certain things uh, to implement it properly okay so now uh, now if you see in this print statement what i have done is i have written print i have two parentheses and then whatever i wanted to print i have put it in a single bracket uh, single quote okay but there is some uh, variations of printing okay now if uh, let's say i want to print say i want to print uh, this is my first my first uh, cars model okay now you see there is a problem here now if i run the code i get an invalid syntax right why is that because uh, i am using an apostrophe here and uh, this is uh, an issue when you face uh, when you are going to use an apostrophe or any other uh, <coughs> Uh, punctuations so you should be aware of the uh, limitations of print and you should know how to use different quotes in order to print whatever you want okay so like here you cannot use a single quote if you want to use an apostrophe in your code or in your uh, sentence so here what you can do is you can simply replace your single quote with double quotes and this would work okay now if you see it works but then the very uh, simple question is uh, what happens when you are going to use uh, double quotes instead of single quotes right then you cannot use uh, double quotes here. that's this is simple it uh, i can use quotes like this okay so here you see now if you use uh, double quotes here you will get an error so it's just a trade off you need to understand if you want to use single quote in the sentence you have to use double quotes uh, you have to enclose everything in double quotes but if you want to use double quote in the sentence you can what you can do is you can uh, enclose it in single quotes and it would work but then again what if you want to use both double quotes as well as single quote what can you do then it's very simple you can just use triple quotes print uh, example of single and double quotes
Now you see, you have both your single quotes as well as double quotes in this. And there is also one more uh, variation where you can use double quotes or single quotes without uh, worrying about these uh, code, vari uh, code variations. You have to use an escape character there. But normally that won't be required much, but I'll just show you quickly. And so if you want to uh, use, let's say single quotes inside a single quote, okay. This is escape characters example, okay. Now normally you won't be able to do this, right? But if you just use an uh, escape character here, you can do the same thing here. Okay. And now you don't have to worry about this double quotes, single quotes and triple quotes.